Hello, I'm going to show you how to use toolbars, docking and screen sets to save and recall whatever layout you want. For example, I have four different layouts that I usually use depending on what kind of workflow I'm currently doing at the moment. And it's just super cool that I can quickly go through all of this without having to move things around or anything. It's just already set up for me. So the way you do this, you have to understand what a toolbar is. So a toolbar is this thing right here and you can have m many of these around. You can right click and customize it or you can also open one of the toolbars. So for example, let's open a toolbar one. So now this is a toolbar that is blank, that is ready to be filled with whatever actions you need. You can click edit me and add whatever actions in here. So this toolbar, you can see that it's a floating toolbar and you can see that by right clicking and seeing that it's like there, it's a floating toolbar. Now, in order to position this anywhere in your screen, it has to be docked. And the way you do this is that you right click and position toolbar in toolbar docker. So yeah, now this toolbar is gonna have this little tab in here. That tab can be moved around anywhere in Reaper. So pretty much you can um, position it right at the left side like this, or you can position it at the bottom with the mixer, you see the mixer also has a tab. So now the mixer is here and the toolbar is here. You can see that when you open, for example, the Media Explorer, uh, that opens up another tab. So now you have three tabs in here. So basically these tabs you can position anywhere in Reaper. So I can pretty much have that in there, uh, have that in here, maybe have light like this and have my mixer like this. So yeah, that's a layout. A lot of things in Reaper can be docked uh, and, a and a way to find out is by right clicking anywhere in an empty field and then seeing if it says dock media in Explorer. That means it can be docked. A lot of things can be docked. So for example, um, this, let's say that you're opening the FETS window. This window that can also be docked by right clicking and dock a FETS in browser. So yeah. Like, like I said, you can move this around and pretty much have the anywhere. So in this way, I position the effects browser on top of the media explorer. Let's say that we like this layout. Like this is totally something we would use at one point or maybe the default way of using Reaper. All you need to do is just go to view and then go to screen sets. In here, you have up to 10 different screen sets that you can save and load. So pretty much, um, let's say that we like this screen set and let's call this the default. And let's say that we want another layout with the maybe the mixer over here like this and maybe without this toolbar and maybe without the master track in the mixer, just the track. This is how I do the side track thing. Oh. And it's the show multiple row. Yeah, delete that. So yeah, that's how I do the tracks in on the left. So um, let's say I don't like that, and maybe not that either. So yeah, just the mixer on the left side. So you open the screen sets layout and click on save and just name this sidebar view. And now you can see that if you go to the default, it will remember what your layout was. And then if you go to sidebar view, it's just this one. And you can save and recall this with the shortcut keys. But one way to set up your own shortcuts for this uh, is clicking edit shortcuts, which will open this actions menu. And in here you can, yeah, you can add your own shortcuts to this to up to 10 of these. As a bonus, I'm going to show you how I set up a screen set like this, which is my uh, track on here and the master track on here. I, I like that a lot because I always have the master track, my master chain in here, but I can also see whatever track I have selected on the left side. I, I think that's pretty cool. So let's set that up. All right, so let's start from scratch. Uh, your meter is probably going to be at the bottom docked and you can see the tapping here. So you're going to move that tab over here where you see this white line on the left side. And there you go. 
Now you will see that there's a master in here. Um, for that you will open it and right click anywhere in an empty field and where it says master track, where it says show emitter, just disable that. Let's get rid of that. And now um, one other important thing is to uh, also disable show multiple rows when size permits. So that way it will stay like that. Another thing is that um, go to master track and you will press show in Docker. So now we have a way to have the master track in a Docker mode. So this thing, you will move it to the right side like this. So perfect. Now you have your master on your right side. And in here you have your tracks on the left side. So in here you can see, hello, new track. The whatever you select, it's going to be in here and you can load your plugins and do your mid in here. And on the right side, you will have your master track with whatever you need in there. You may notice that I also have these toolbars on top of everything. And there are actually three different toolbars. One in here, one in the middle, and one on top of the master track. And there's also a hidden one that I can open it from here. I thought it was so cool. Um, but let me explain first how I set this first. Up. All right, let's say that we want to add those toolbars at the top. So we'll first start by finding them. So right click anywhere in the empty field of the toolbar in here. Um, and then open toolbar, toolbar one. So this is our first toolbar. And this one, you can go to position and go to in toolbar docker. That way you will have this little tab in here. This little tab, you're going to click and drag until you see this line at the top. So yeah, that's our first toolbar in there. So our goal is to have one next to it and another one right in here. So let's do that. Same thing. Let's open another toolbar and select toolbar two in this case. And this one, uh, go to open to um, position toolbar and then go to toolbar docker. This way we have this little tab. So now we're gonna click and drag this little tab while holding command or control on windows and we're gonna position it where you see this little block in here so now you have these two toolbars right next to it and you can position it like this so now we're only missing one toolbar in this case we're gonna go to um, open toolbar and then go toolbar three this is our last one so in here in toolbar docker again so we have this little tab and then selecting command, you're gonna put this on top. And there you go. So that's how you have uh, space for these three in here. So you can um, move them and align them like that. That should be it. Now you have three th uh, different toolbars that you can set up whatever actions you want in this. Now remember when I showed you that I was able to click this thing and show another toolbar on top of that? Just so it's not so crowded. I have this little button that shows and hides more icons at the top. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. So let's say that we have toolbar 4 that we want to put on top of everything. So let me just add a couple of actions in here. And maybe some icons. Yeah. There you go. So now you have this toolbar four that you want to have at the top, but you only want that to appear when you click a button in here. So you right click anywhere in the empty field and select position toolbar at top of main window. So now that's going to position above everything. So the way you show and hide this toolbar is by adding a bottom in this toolbar so you're gonna customize toolbar open main toolbar i think it was open close main toolbar yes there you go uh no actually it's this one at top of a main window this one let me delete this so yeah show high toolbar at top of main window so you're gonna insert a separator well that's only if you want 
And I like to place an icon of up. So this one, yes. So now you should see a little arrow that when you press it, it's gonna show and hide uh, whatever top of main toolbar is. So yes, there you go. That's how you can have a bunch of icons here. Uh, I usually don't like it, like um, these setups where there's like millions of toolbars, toolbar icons. I find that very distracting. So I very much like this so I can show and hide all the tools that I rarely need, but sometimes I need. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just click that and open this and then type that to close it. And I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm always happy to help you over Instagram. Um, if any of this was confusing, uh, it's totally understandable. Um, I'll do my best to help you whatever uh, layout you need. Thank you.